Hi to everybody, I'm Stefano from Web Your Mind and welcome to the sixth lesson of the Laravel course. In this lesson, we will talk about routing. There is an important news from the les this lesson, we will start using Laravel 5. Let's start from the very beginning or uh, what routing is. Routing is uh, the URI management. So what is an URI? Think about uh, the, in the old internet address that you type in your browser. So we can, uh, we can split it in two parts. The first part is uh, the domain or and, uh, maybe a subdomain, then uh, followed by a slash and then a part or so a kind of path this, these are URIs. Simplifying a lot, this, we can call them URI. And uh, Laravel offers uh, all uh, the um, so support for the HTTP verbs. I mean, uh, get, put, delete, post, uh, but we will talk it uh, a better later, later on during this lesson. And uh, some advanced functions, like grouping for grouping uh, roots, parameters, and CRF token and many others, uh, maybe we will see some of them uh, in this lesson. One of the first changes we can notice from Laravel 4 to Laravel 5 is the home directory of the root PHP file. From now, starting from now, we can find it in the install path slash Laravel slash app slash HTTP. Before going over, I want to talk you, I want to tell you about a little bit more about HTTP verbs and there are uh, get, post, put, and delete. And Laravel offers uh, the four methods to listen to those, uh, to those uh, verbs. So root uh, get, root post, root delete, and uh, root put. And it's the, exactly the same as uh, happened in Laravel 4. We have uh, some news uh, also here. Uh, we, we, can, uh, or we can listen on a root for multiple verbs with a root match with a particular syntax we will, we will see later. Or we can listen on all for all verbs with the method uh, root any. First thing to do in this lesson is uh, switch from Laravel 4 to Laravel file environment. The best way to do this is according to the official documentation is to copy from uh, the old environment to the new one. We have two folders, Laravel 4 and Laravel 5, and um, we can uh, we start now copying from uh, one to the others, starting from the simple thing, or the configuration. So let's open the database configuration. Uh, here you are. And uh, let's open the new one. It's not uh, the config directory is not more uh, under app directory, but it's under the root and this one so let's start copying the parameters from one to the other file uh, we have um, got the password the db name and the username uh, they are all the same to for simplicity but it, this is not a good practice okay i think uh, we have done let's maybe we can check save the file and uh, check if there is nothing more to copy okay i think it's done Let's now take care about uh, the roots PHP files. This is the content of the old one. Let's copy it and open the other one that it is uh, under uh, app uh, HTTP roots. Okay, let's copy it, uh, paste it. And uh, now, just for now, simply comment out the, the, the remaining of the file and save it. Okay. Now, uh, what we need, what we need, I think, views and uh, later on controllers. So let's copy what we have in the old view, the old view folder. I in the new uh, folder of the Laravel five that is uh, under resources and views. I've done it uh, just before and we have them now in the new directory. Now let's copy the controllers file. We need other controller and the menu PHP 
and uh, co let's copy them, uh, paste them in the new directory under HTTP controllers. Um, then we need uh, our models in the old one are under app models we have here menu php and order php and we have to copy them under the uh, directly under the app directory because in the in laravel 5 there is no uh, uh, there is no dedicated folder for it for them sorry Okay, now that we have copy and paste the required file, I think we have to open uh, the, our controllers, for example, and one of the files that, uh, that came from with Laravel 5. We can uh, see a few little differences from uh, the old one and the new one. First one is the extends class. We have here base controller and the new one is controller. And then we have a namespace. Uh, this one is the namespace so let's copy the namespace from the new one to the old one and the uh, extends class so we have now controllers extend our controller extend controller class and uh, we have the namespace let's save it and we have uh, another difference uh, we have uh, in the new one we have a constructor for the for the controller so let's copy it to the new one it's not really required but uh, it's a best practice to have a constructor in our classes and uh, let's copy it in the in the first lines of our file of our class okay let's save it and we have to do the same to the um, menu controller let's copy the first line then the extends class okay and uh, last uh, the um, the constructor copy and then paste here and let's save it i think that uh, our models need the same attention of controllers so let's do the same operation open uh, we are opening now the menu php and order php and user php menu and order php are our old files copied from the old environment meanwhile user php is the new one so let's copy the namespace in both of our files we have a lot of uh, use imports we but we need only the eloquent model the other one are used for the model property that is a user and we don't need them now at this moment so let's copy the use use classes eloquent model as we see eloquent model and now let's change the, the last thing that is uh, the extent class from eloquent to model copy it and copy here and let's save the files after saving it's time to check uh, our job to do this we will open a browser and we, we, we start writing the pizzeria URL uh, I'm expecting to see our home page as we live in uh, in the last in the Laravel 4 framework and it's okay here we are we can now start uh, with the the topic of this uh, this lesson so let's talk a little deeper of uh, Laravel's root caching system to do this we will use uh, as example the roots PHP file here we have the method exposed by Laravel to catch the get HTTP verb uh, in this uh, way we are telling to Laravel to get all the roots uh, request uh, as get parameter and serve the view uh, home we can now duplicate this block of code and change from get to post and in this way we can uh, we, we, we are telling to Laravel to uh, catch both the kind of request for a get and put uh, verbs with, uh, with Laravel 5 we have a new way to do this um, or, to get, or we can use the match keyword to get all uh, um, a sequence a given sequence of uh, uh, HTTP verbs in fact we have a first parameter an array and uh, we list here all the HTTP, HTTP verbs that we want to listen for in this case I'm, uh, I'm writing post get put uh, we're missing delete but uh, it's just an example or we can use the any keyword to uh, catch all those roots in a, in a single in a single block of code 
okay we, the, um, the first uh, parameter is not required and uh, exactly I'm writing too much I am deleting too much parameters so grouping is an interesting features of Laravel and uh, we have here uh, three frequent uh, use case mm, indeed indeed uh, one two the first two are more frequent than the, the third one so let's uh, think about when we have a group of root with the same uh, prefix we have uh, this this um, feature offer us the, the possibility to write a, a compact uh, block of code to, to manage all those roots or when we have to apply a filter and the same the reason is the same we can apply a filter to uh, multiple roots and then we can create a subdomain and um, manage uh, those kind of roots let's see grouping in action first thing let's start uh, writing root group we have uh, empty brackets and then we can start with the filling the first parameter and this is an array and this is the um, prefix uh, of all our roots so for example and then the second parameter is uh, the, the function, the closure let's go back to the first parameter and we say prefix and then the name of the prefix we are using uh, here for our for our app I for let's say for, for example menus and then save the, the file what you are doing now is to for example to copy the um, the view home into the into the group and let's change uh, for, so for uh, simplicity sake to a simple root get and we have a new um, we put a new um, URL a new root sorry so um, a new list so the this uh, home uh, the home view will be served when we, we write menu slash menu list let's save the file parameter as you can uh, guess uh, we can pass a parameter to a root for example to, to a view we can pass an optional parameter with or without a default value and we can pass multiple parameters now we will see uh, all those three things uh, i paste i paste here um, those uh, this piece of code starting from line 40 and uh, we have the root get menu and our url and then the parameter name we call it a name in uh, curly brace brackets and then we have the, the closure with the name as a parameter and uh, here you can see that I return a string a simple string uh, you choose the, uh, the value of the name of the parameter and menu so let's take a look of uh, our um, job our work sorry so menu slash then pass a parameter of our choice we can write completo that in Italian means menu means menu the full menu and we have the string you choose completo menu that's what we expected to see and what to do if the parameter is optional simply add a question mark after the parameter name and then we can use we can specify the null value so let's save the file and to better see how the mechanism works we can uh, implement here a little uh, if we can say if the parameter name is null so is null name then return a certain string else another one in our case if the parameter is null we return a fixed string with the, you choose the full menu the full menu list let's say uh, if the parameter is not null we will see the uh, other uh, the previous string so you choose the select menu menu okay i think we can now save it and try and try it again so let's start to see if the works it works still working it's still working okay 
let's uh, delete the last part of the, the URL and what we have is you choose the full menu list so that what we was expecting for now we can uh, set a default value for our parameter and we can say bambini but bambini it's an italian word and stand for uh, child it's the child the kid menu for it's just an example so let's see how it works okay reload the page and what we have is you choose child menu we have specific we haven't specified the the parameter but uh, we uh, implement a default value and this is what we have simply name. Uh, we can specify obviously more than one parameter um, for example uh, we are using a second parameter we are using an, an id and a simple id and we print it out uh, um, in the second uh, case of the, our if uh, don't forget to pass uh, the second parameter to the function to the closure and uh, now we have to simply to add the id value to the return uh, to the return string so id dollar id dot reload the page and uh, i think we have an error okay in fact mm, a part of the url is missing so let's add the for example the five the uh, five for, as an id and the the second uh, the second parameter so when we load the page and we have the, uh, our five the id and the completo menu if you enjoyed this lesson subscribe to our channel using the huge red button you see here or uh, leave a comment a suggestion a proposal to the using the social network you see in the upper right corner Bye and see you to the next lesson.